Hello, my name is Bronislav Klučka, I'm the creator of Bauglir WebSocket and uh, this video will show you the abilities of a new HiBuy 10 specification and the Bauglir WebSocket implementation of this specification. As you know, previous versions of WebSocket specification, Hixis versions, uh, were discontinued on the side of specification as well as discontinued by uh, browser vendors through some some security issues so a new version of websocket protocol uh, have been create has been created addressing this uh, security issues uh, pretty new functionalities and uh, Firefox 5 and home from a version 14 will support this uh, high by specifications the work client side which means in the browsers is uh, still in progress so i will not be able to demonstrate all the functionality of high by specification within browsers of course a client to show you so what I have here is a Chromium 15 or Chrome 15 development version, Firefox 5 or 6, I don't know at this point. Server based on Baugli WebSocket version 2, and based on Baugli WebSocket version 2. Oh, let's start with a simple demonstration you probably already, uh, already know from previous versions. I'll start the server and I open the clients. So all clients are opened. You can see in browser status in the client it has started, it's opened, here it goes free. Uh, those three uh, connections. Here you may, here you can see some events. Bauglir WebSocket, of course, provides you with some information about those connections. Uh, this is a list of all the head, all the headers the connection have sent it. Uh, of course, I'm parsing the headers, so I'm exposing them through some regular properties. I just included here all the headers. I will go to properties in a documentation of source code. This is a header sent by uh, Chrome. This is a header sent by Firefox. Uh, you can see that the Chrome sent, sent only the, the WebSocket necessary headers. Firefox included other headers. I use the agent. And those are the headers sent by the client. The basic demonstration will show you a sending of a text message from a client or from a server. Uh, this is a special check message, uh, check text. Uh, I use it uh, to show the transfer of UTF-8 text. Uh, this text contains all the special check characters that are acute, etc. So let's send the text from a client to server. I've read one message, last received is actually really the same message. Uh, since I'm here on a Windows, server, uh, on a Czech version, so I'm using a CP1250 uh, or Windows 1250 encoding. I'll receive UTF-8 and I'll, of course, have to uh, encode the text to Windows 1250, but I'm receiving the text in UTF-8. Text must be sent in UTF-8. I've received some or some event. Uh, have been triggered 
uh, telling me that first connection get final frame with those extension bits I'll get to the final frames and the extension bits later and type was text and number one and length 53 bytes <clears throat> I'll do that for the other clients hello viewers Hello viewers, again we see some event <clears throat> and here again I'm writing those uh, data again textual with length, length 18 I can of course send a text from server to clients. So let's send this is for a Firefox connection for a Firefox connection. Or I can send the data to all connections. You see I received this last message. And you can see, I brought, I brought those message, uh, this message to all the connections. This is the basic functionality you already know from uh, previous versions of WebSockets. HiPive version of WebSockets is allowing you to do more. Uh, uh, the concept is that the previous version was about the textual data, UTF-8 uh, data. Nothing else exists. You open the connection, you send the data, and then there was a special string, two bytes of message, uh, when you said that you want to close the connection. Uh, the high buy version uh, changed the paradigm. And now what it's sending are so-called frames it's a stream of uh, bytes containing not only data but the information about the data. Uh, each frame is uh, uh, determined by its type. You of course the textual data type, what I've been sending. What you can send is a close frame a special frame it's a control frame another control frame it's a it's pink and pong then you can send a binary data not only textual but also binary and you can say uh, you can send so-called continue uh, continuation frame i'll get to that later so uh start with the close frame i'll already show the text frame uh, let's show the close frame in the previous version you sent uh, you either close the connection, the underlying network connection, or you could send, I believe it was uh, 2550, two bytes to close the connection. What you can do now is uh, send a special frame to close the connection, and in this special frame, uh, you tell uh, the other endpoint why are you closing the connection so let's start with the proper closure of connection let's say the chrome chrome client connected has connected to uh, the server and the reason for communication is fulfilled so the server will now close because there is no more reason to have it open. So let's close the connection. Connection is removed. What you can see, I've sent a different type. Uh, which is a close. And what I can specify there is a close code. Uh, the 1000 uh, specified that it's a proper closure of connection 
the reason for connection flow. And you can send the textual data, arbitrary data, what, what you want. Uh, they can be to 123 bytes in length uh, of data, not UTF-8 characters. So you specify the code and you specify arbitrary textual message. What you can see is that the closure was properly done. I'll try to end server. I'm sending here a different type of closure. When you can see, I sent One hundred six. You can see it here in a client as well, and you can see it was not proper. It was one hundred uh, one thousand and six, which is a special, again, uh, type of closure. Firefox is not implementing this feature at this point. So what you can see is. Uh, the special frame, uh, when you send that the connection was closed and you can specify uh, a reason for closure. I close it from a client. I get another message. Uh, so a close message with another code. So you can specify what kind of closure it is.